Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So we have a lot to discuss today. First, we are going through all the time frames on the Bitcoin price as usual. I will also tell you why currently I have a long position opened and also we're gonna have a comparison from this future gap that we have still below of us and also some future gaps that we had in the past. So stay here till the end of the video. And now let's start here with our usual Bitcoin TA because here in the one hour as you can see Bitcoin formed here this nice falling wedge. Yesterday we had here a breakout to the upside and right before this breakout from this falling wedge I entered my long position because here you can see my own indicator the live stream that you can see on Discord. If you're interested in watching my live stream that is working 24 7 then contact me on Discord. So yesterday we had here in the one hour and also in the three hour time frame a buy signal on Bitcoin and of course we also had here the DXY which was looking a bit toppy even now it's still looking like that we could have a potential drop in the DXY coming up pretty soon but since here I had a buy signal in the one hour and in the three hour time frames at the same time I opened up here a long position with a scale down here to the bottom of this wedge here at $9,700. Unfortunately, we pumped immediately without even going down a bit here. So only one order got executed and I compounded here on the way up. Currently, we are seeing a retracement back down to test the previous resistance, which now should be the new support. So this breakout is denied if we are falling the cliff here again within this falling wedge and maybe even lower than the bottom. So even if we drop down here again in this falling wedge, and we are able to stay above $9,700. This should be still bullish, so prepare for all scenarios if you already are in a long position. But currently it looks like that the previous resistance is now the new support, which is quite bullish, and we should expect here continuation to the upside. The problem is here only in the one hour that currently we're trading again below the 20 and 50 moving average which is a bit bearish. I was expecting this breakout to perform way better at least towards this $10,800 which is the 200 moving average in the one hour. So far we didn't see such a great performance which makes me believe that maybe we could be in here for continuation to the downside because although the RSI is now trading below the 50 I got the sell signal here in the one hour so maybe in the next couple of hours hours we are going to see this 10k area again potentially even drop lower i'm not closing my long position because i still think we are bullish here so we could see a possible bounce to the upside towards 11k but therefore we have to go into the bigger time frames here at least in the one hour it looks like that we're gearing up here for a possible dump again potentially towards 10k and lower but let's see what these next hours will bring and if we open up the Bollinger Band also here you can see that right now we're trading again on the bearish side so in theory we could drop towards $10,000 again and this is potentially where I also gonna scale in some more longs into the long that I already have opened right now and uh, you see all the stochastic is getting into oversold conditions so here in theory we should see a bounce pretty soon only the KST and MACD are just having a bearish cross. KST not yet, but very soon. And this could indicate that we will see some more dumps coming up here in the next couple of hours. So be prepared if you want to take a long position to watch out for this 10K area, potentially even down towards $9,700. And if we go over into the four hour time frame, here you can see that currently we're getting rejected from the 20 moving average, which is a bearish sign. And also we are getting rejected from the 50 level in the RSI. So also here, I think we will see some more continuation to the downside, potentially towards $9,700, maybe even to fill the CME gap. Who knows that is still possible. I also got a buy signal down here when we broke out from this falling wedge. So in theory it is still in play, but of course we still can go lower before we're getting another buy signal, which maybe then will take us again towards this $11,000 possible bullish target, at least for the short term, if we're gonna see a bounce here. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, here you can see that also we are getting rejected from the top here at 10,470. We had here the top, then we retrace back down. 
and it looks like that also here we are trading again in the bearish side if we have this four hour close here below ten thousand two hundred dollar and therefore i'm watching here the bottom at around ten thousand dollar as well this is where i'm most likely going to add a bit into my long position if the 10k support is going to fail then prepare for much lower prices potentially even down to nine thousand one hundred dollar but here the four hour is still looking good that we have the macd and kst shifted to the upside only the stochastic had a bearish cross so here we could see some continuation to the downside so if you plan to open up a long position is not too late you can think about maybe to start longing at around 10k because most likely we're going to see this price level in the next couple of hours if not so if this four hour candle is going to close again above ten thousand two hundred dollar then i think we could be in here for a possible move to the upside towards eleven thousand dollar this is at least my target here where i'm probably going to take some profits out or put a very tight stop loss because this is also the area up here where the 200 moving average in the four hour is lining up it's here at eleven thousand five hundred but i think as soon as we are reaching eleven thousand to eleven thousand five hundred we're going to face huge resistance only if you're really able to push through here and potentially even break twelve thousand dollar then i think we could be in here for a bigger move to the upside than we thought and we can open therefore here the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we're trading between the 20 and 200 moving average so i think there is still a high chance that we go down fill the CME gap and also bounce here from the 200 daily moving average at $9,100. This is at least my target if we really come down to fill the CME gap and also go lower. So this is where I think we're going to bounce here at the 200 daily moving average. Also the RSI is very oversold here and on my own indicator you can see that we're getting very close to oversold condition and we could see a possible buy signal coming up pretty soon. But this is going to depend how we're going to trade and close here the next couple of days and of course we also have to see in case of a big pump to the upside what will happen here at the 20 daily moving average at eleven thousand dollar because this is where i think we could face some resistance if we're going to see a possible bounce to the upside and if we open up the bollinger band in the daily you can see that we are still trading here in the lower end so also here i think we could see a possible bounce towards one of these two moving averages so between ten thousand seven hundred sixty and eleven thousand two hundred dollar if we are able to push through eleven thousand dollar then i think we could even go up here towards twelve thousand four hundred dollar based here in the bollinger band this is still possible stochastic is oversold so we should see in theory here a bounce to the upside coming up pretty soon only the macd and ks are still bearish they are still shifted to the downside and we are still far away from a potential bullish cross here but once they're gonna cool off and create a bullish cross i think there is where we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside maybe even a continuation of our nice started bull market if the cme gaps are getting filled because sooner or later we will have to come down to fill them hopefully right now so we don't have to come back later once we are going to test or break the old all-time high and now since we are in the daily time frame let's open up here the cme chart because here once more you see the cme gap that we have down here at around nine thousand six hundred dollar so this gap is not yet filled but we are very very close to this gap filling and i still think that most likely with this move here we are going to close this cme gap and potentially also tested to on the daily moving average but of course this is not guaranteed so it's not guaranteed that only because we are so close to the cme gap we're going to feel it right now and therefore i want to go a bit here in the past and we can stay here in the daily time frame because in the daily you see only the real big cme gaps that really matters so i give significance also to the smaller one like in the one hour or four hour but here the daily ones are the most important and here you can see this bull run that we had from the bottom in 2018 here of three thousand dollar up to fourteen thousand dollar and you can clearly see that on the way to the upside we created several cme gaps so this was one gap that got immediately filled by this move here then we had several others that also got filled very quickly and this one over here that you can see when we pumped from 8500 up to 9200 this gap here stayed open for a very long time so you can see after we created the cme gap we continued the bull run and we created another cme gap and this one also got filled after topping out here at $14,000. So we came down to fill this gap here 
and then at that time I can remember very well we were thinking that we will come down more to also close this gap over here but you see what happened we immediately bounced here and then almost tested again here the top that we had at 14,000 and then on the next move we came down again also very close to the CME gap but also here we didn't close it we bounced again a couple of times up and down till we had then this drop in September the same month that we are right now and then we closed here this CME gap so many months later we closed it in September so we have the same month now and that's why I still think probably within this month we're going to close this CME gap that we created also some months ago at $9,600 and that's why I think it is very likely that we're going to close the CME gap in the next couple of days or weeks but it doesn't have to happen so you see that also in the past we had gaps that stayed open for many months before they got filled and maybe this is one of them but of course it is very likely and you should also trade based on this CME gap right now that there is still room left to the downside also to close this gap and also potentially test the 200 daily moving average so even if you're starting to long right now you cannot go all in right now at $10,200 because there is still a high chance that maybe we come down to close the CME gap test the 200 daily moving average and therefore you cannot go all in right now because you will get very easily stopped out or liquidated if the price is coming down to those levels because this is more than $1,000 of difference and if the price even week below here it would be even more dangerous for your trade so you have to manage your trades very well and also think about this scenario when you're trading because this scenario I think is still very likely to happen and that's why you cannot go right now all in if you think that we're gonna see a bounce it is very likely but also this scenario can happen that we first coming down here and then continue here the push to the upside so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget if you want to trade over on bybit femex or btr where you can trade cryptos derivatives and all the assets that you want without kyc nothing then use the links that you find down below here in the video description with my links you support the channel and also you will get some rewards currently we have 90 dollars on bybit and $80 on Femex so definitely go and take this bonus you have to do some stuff to get the full bonus but it's definitely worth it and there you can trade easily everything you want without KYC nothing and please make also sure to subscribe to the discord trading chat It's completely for free everyone is welcome and if you're interested in seeing my 24 7 live stream of my own indicator then contact me over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends. Please moon up the likes and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.